morning. First up, apologies for filming in portrait mode. Uh, my good camera mount is still in my cousin's Jeep. We were meant to be seeing them yesterday and then Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday and Monday, but the weather's been absolutely naff. So all of our plans have gone out the window because we were gonna go to the safari park, but there's no point doing that when the weather is this bad. How's the weather by you? Because it's pretty shocking uh, everywhere, it seems. My car is saying 6.5 degrees right now and it's the 27th of March, so we're almost into April. It's the Easter break, and it's right in the middle of the day, but it's still only 6.5 degrees. Tony Goodman, who I was talking to this morning about possibly buying a car in Cornwall, tells me that yesterday it was 10 degrees warmer in Doncaster than it is in Cornwall. So I don't know what's going on. A couple of things I want to talk about today, though, a couple of three things. Um, my little lad I've got in here, we uh, did some charity shopping yesterday, and we bought a world map, didn't we? We bought a jigsaw, 500 piece jigsaw that um, we put together. You, you did pretty well, didn't you? And then you got bored and went to bed. Uh, and I finished it off last night, but there was a funny moment where I couldn't actually find uh, the rest of the piece of England, Great Britain. And uh, I posted on my social media a picture because I put Mogadishu there instead. And I thought, oh, well, that's quite apt for everything that's going on at the moment. Speaking of things that are going on at the moment, I'm not going to address it on the channel, but this bridge collapse, this bridge collapse in the USA. Um, so I've seen a couple of videos of it now. If you haven't already, you will have read about it in the news. Basically, a cargo ship's going under the bridge. It loses power twice. The lights go out. You can see it happening. And then it hits one of the main supports of the bridge. And as soon as it hits that, it collapses. I've since seen another one today. Uh, it could possibly be that there's some sort of detonation, some sort of charge that happens in two different places along the bridge that are not where the boat is. So could this be that we're seeing another false flag? I don't know. But based on everything that I understand about the world at the moment, I certainly wouldn't rule it out. Now, why would you want to blow up that bridge? Uh, I've read this morning on Twitter that 750,000 cars go through that port every year as well as a huge portion of the agricultural and farm machinery so if you're bringing cars and farm machinery into the USA chances are you're going to need that bridge uh, to be in place so could it be that that's a hit on the supply system I don't know I mean it, it may well be it wouldn't surprise me end of the day they don't want us in our cars and they don't really want us farming do they so it would make sense to take out you know a key piece of infrastructure but i guess more will come out about this uh, seven people have sadly lost their lives which is you know again you start talking about terror attacks it's a pretty low number of people but it does you know generally seem to be the case doesn't it with these with these events um but like I said, I don't really want to address that on the main channel. I'm, I'm on the main channel, I've only got one channel. Uh, I'm sure there will be plenty of people who will be doing videos about that bridge and you know, the stories will keep carrying on. Jaguar I-Pace runaway car story, still no updates, but I have been tagged in another one today. There's been another um, runaway Jaguar. I think it was Coventry, but I'll have to go back through my email. So I, I make that the fourth one now. I never heard back from the gentleman that crashed his Jaguar couple of days ago and uh, the one I reached out to not heard anything from him yet but I have had some interesting things in my inbox last night Bradford what is going on with the bus station in Bradford this is going to be a bigger video for later on uh, it's been closed down now for a very long time um, but I'll save the details for that video but if you're in Bradford very very strange a freedom of information request has gone in and no one is being told why the bus station has been closed for as long as it has i got an email from someone saying jeff i think it's electric buses i think it's due to the weight i think they've tried a few of these electric buses and they've fallen through the floor i don't think that's the case but it's an interesting video anyway a couple of car movements going on as well um this is my bmw x5 so if you're on the facebook or on the newsletter you'll know that this car will probably be going on friday night and you can get yourself involved in that uh, in the comments below i'll put a pinned comment to the link or to the newsletter i'll also put a link to join the newsletter as well a couple of cars that i'm looking at buying there's one down in cornwall as i said might potentially go send tony goodman to go and get that for me and there's one in swindon um, but if the weather had been good, I would have gone and got them already, but I can't really be bothered. But it is the Easter break, and we're hanging out, aren't we? I'm going to go buy some stationery, I'm going to do some colouring, and all that sort of stuff. So let me know how you are, let me know what's going on in your world. Bit of a whistle-stop portrait mode. 
tour there as we're driving along underneath these very weird grey skies. So let me know what's going on in your world and uh, big videos coming up, I guess, later tonight when I address that Bradford thing. But yeah, the, the bridge. Post up in the comments what you think is going on with this bridge. I didn't immediately make the connection that it was to do with bringing in um, you know, cars and farming machinery, but that's what I'm reading on Twitter, so it must be true. Right, that's it, no more portrait videos ever again. Thanks for watching.